Hey, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Christine. And so today, as the topic suggests, we're going to do a DIY on customized goma rubber shoes. So I've been doing this project for a very long time. So today I'm just going to show you basically what I usually do and what you need to do to have the look it's very simple but if you're selling it to someone else it will it can be a little bit you can buy it at a, an expensive price because there's labor there's looking for the fabric paints which sometimes is is not there like the fabric paints have have been lost for a very long time so yeah so i'm just going to show you and then we get right away into the video. The very first thing that you're going to need is the surface where you're going to paint and definitely as the topic suggests you're going to use rubber shoes. So I used my white rubber shoes which I bought at Bata which is 299 bob and very cheap indeed but you can also buy any other white rubber shoes from Gikomba or any other market. So for me, I'm going with the Batangomas. And then the other thing that you're going to need is fabric paint. So I'm going to use Fabric Cream fabric paint, which I got from Textbook Center. And when I bought it, I bought this sometime back in last year, that is 2018. It was 1050, that is 1050 shillings. But right now, my girl, my viewer, it goes for 850, no, 750 shillings. And it has 10 colors in it, 10 of all these. And then if it ends, you can go there, you pick. Any other color that you want, but one, only one like this, which is 80 bob. It's 15 mm. But if you're doing your own shoes, you don't have to buy the whole of this unless you just want to do a project or maybe you want to sell the rubber shoes. That's when you can buy this. Or there's another bigger size, which goes, which one, one color goes for around 650. So yeah, that's the paint that you're going to use. And then for this project necessarily, we're going to use maroon. Maroon number 14. I'm not really sure if you can see. Okay, it's number 14 anyway. I'm not really sure if I'm going to add any other color in the middle. But you're going to see. Yeah, it's all about creativity. I'm not really, I've not yet really decided which design I'm going for. So I'm just letting my mood of the day interpret for me what I'm going to do. Then the next one is a pair of scissors. You're going to need a pair of scissors to help you cut your masking tape. And for that reason, you don't know why I've kept my masking tape, but then you're going to use the masking tape to cover this place because you want it to remain. Okay, I want it to retain the white color in it. And then, last but not least, you're going to need paint brushes. Paint brushes vary. In textbook center, you can you have very many types of brushes. If you want the very tiny one for detailed painting if you want the bigger ones okay for mine i bought them in a supermarket back in shago the the park had i think six i've lost some i've thrown out some i've broken some so i'm remaining with i think three yeah but for now i can only do two so i'm going to use this one and i bought the pack for i think a hundred shillings if i'm not wrong yeah so now we have everything in place so let's get into the video and see what we'll come up with